detonate in one minute. Where could it possibly be? Wait. That kettle drum. Those are only ever used in mounted cavalry formations, never in a marine band. Perhaps oh. the bomb is in the drum. Very good, Watson. If the Queen is standing just beside it, she'll be blown to smithereens. But how to defuse it entire? Time remaining until bomb detonation, 55 seconds. Estimated blast radius from bomb, 17 feet. Time required to move Queen to safety, 12 seconds. Solution, move through crowd, see Millie for the first time. Forget about bomb. No! Time remaining, 37 seconds. Solution, shoot water main to douse bomb. Remember Millie at the park, forget about bomb. No, I forgot about bomb. Watson, what are you doing in my brain? I'm doing it. I'm communicating without words. I can't focus. I was trying to formulate a plan and I kept getting off track. Holmes, no you don't. Snap at it! I can't. I'm too emotional. Look behind me. The Queen is being blown to bits. You have to take control. You must be detective for both of us. Right. I know what I must do. Estimated blast radius. 20, no, 30 feet? Account for ship's movement. Wait, was that a 4 or a 7? Math is so hard. Hold on, what does that X mean? Or is that a plus? What is that thing? Angle of approach? Oh, I don't know how to do it. English should have listened more in school. Ah, oh, screw it. Charge! Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Nine. Eight. Seven. Come on! Move your fucking... Huzzah! Huzzah for Sherlock Holmes! Sherlock Holmes saved the Titanic! Thank you. Thank you. But I could never have done it without Dr. Watson. Let Watson's name be forever associated with the Titanic. So when you think of your friends and relatives on board, the Titanic. Just remember, Dr. John H. Watson. Put them there! Yeah.